Welcome back to Ozark's Fox AM. We do love Cami Jenkins, and we love all of her favorite things that become our favorite things. What is your favorite thing today, Cami? My favorite thing today is bone broth. <laughs> and I know that sounds so exciting, but let me tell you, it is. Okay. Because they call it uh, better than Botox. Have you ever used actual bone broth, or do you just buy it? Buy it. You buy it? I've never I made it. I buy it. I can't say that I've done it. No. Yes. Well, I'm not a doctor. Let me just preface this. <laughs> and you don't play one on so TV. So I right? don't play one on okay. TV. I am not giving medical advice, but I know it works for me. Right. And so there's a lot. Do your own research. There's so much out there about mm -hmm. using real bone broth and things like arthritis and autoimmune disease, gut health, um, even things like acne and certain behaviors. They have shown a link, of course, to your gut. They say your gut is like your second brain. And so, you know, everything, all of our health stems from that. And so it's not just not putting bad things into our bodies that harm us, but it's also not putting good things into our bodies. Like, right. you know, we don't just not eat the potato chips, but we also need to feed our body with what's good for our body. Right. So that's where the that. bone broth comes in. And you know what? I mean, it's got just a whole list of things that are good for you, reasons why, but also it's absolutely delicious. So even if you don't care about the health benefits, like my kids, <laughs> when they smell the bone broth, they're like, you're making they love bone it. broth. And not by itself, but I use it in all kinds of recipes and so you know that smell when you've had something just simmering like all day long mm -hmm. yes. that's what you get when you add bone broth I love so it. like you know if you open a can of just regular like tomato sauce you don't you don't get that yeah, you don't warm, get that fuzzy, warm feeling. fuzzy feeling like let's eat <laughs> right no. but if you put bone broth as your base add your own tomatoes and that simmering smell I'm just I'm just telling you it's absolutely delicious do we get to try some we are gonna try it but I haven't put any spices or anything like that in it I just wanted to talk to you about how to make it and some things that you okay. can use it for but yeah we can try it too okay so I have okay. used woo, this is a um, just a femur bone, so it's really good to use bones that are marrow bones. Mm -hmm. So if you go to your butcher, if you have a good butcher, they can give you information about good bones to use. So like oxtail bones, um, femur bones, there's just like a list of that you can use. But also, if you don't know what to do with like your turkey after Thanksgiving, oh. you can take the carcass. I know this sounds disgusting, but you can take that turkey carcass, the neck bones that came with it, right. stick it in your crock pot and cook it. How long? A so, couple days or what? Well, it is. So what I would do, so this is the kind of bone that I use. This is just the femur bone um, that I used for this one. Mm -hmm. This has okay. been cooking for about 12 hours. And I actually kind of blanched it first. Basically, I threw it in some boiling water to kind of clean the bone first. Oh, okay. Because otherwise, you get like this disgusting like foam and film oh, and stuff. Yes. So you kind of want to clean that off first, dump that water, mm -hmm. and then put it back in with fresh water. And also, I've read to add like a splash of apple cider vinegar because something about that helps it pull out like the natural collagens. I mean, that's what we're really getting here right. is it's very nutritious and has natural collagen. Okay. So that's why Can I say talk us Botox. <laughs> <laughs> Can you talk us through your recipe? Absolutely. We'll just let you talk. Yeah, and so after I blanched it, dumped the bad water, I put in new water. Now, in a perfect, in the real world, I would have filled this up and keep the bone full, but I had to carry this in my car today, right. and I didn't want to splash. So let me just show you. So I put in just a splash of the apple cider vinegar. Mm -hmm. Look how clean and beautiful that wow. is. And you get like, you know, this, it's kind of like a fatty layer on mm -hmm. top, but it's a, kind of thicker. It's a lot thicker than water. But basically, I've had this cooking for oh, about 12 hours, and I have cooked it up to five days before. So that's not so too much. It's not. They say between 12 hours and four days. Like okay. I said, I've done five days. And by the end of five days, like chicken bones will just be crumbling yes. apart because yeah. you've gotten all the good stuff out of it. Right. So... Now, Cammy, do you use this like in stews or? Yes, how do you, you can use it? use it tonight. My family is getting some ham and beans. Some oh. beans. Gonna dump some tomatoes in there, and it'll just give it that simmering for days kind of taste. And also, you know, you can just drink it. I personally have had very good health benefit from this. Okay. About three years ago, I had to go gluten free, had some right. health problems from that. Two years ago, I had some markers on my blood work that I had leaky gut, which can cause autoimmune disease and yeah. all that. I went to the doctor last month, had the same labs drawn, and I do not have that marker anymore. And the only differences I've made is mm -hmm. going gluten free, adding bone broth, and a couple supplements. So you can attest that bone broth did help heal your it gut because I've read me. that. Okay, yes. Personally, that helps you. Again, I'm not giving medical advice here, right. 
But for me, I can tell you what has worked. And this has been a big difference because it's one of the only few differences I've made. So if you want to taste it, there's a spoon really quickly. I don't know if I want no. to taste it, but I'll let you. <laughs> Do you well, put salt in it? If you're going to drink it, you could put salt in it. Okay. Yeah. So I'm it's not going to taste she drinks that, It reminds right now, me of the episode of Friends when he was, Ross was going to drink the fat. Do you remember oh, that episode yes, of Friends? I do. Drink the fat. Do you yeah. know what? It really doesn't have a lot of taste other than you can tell there's a lot of oil in it. Yeah. It, it's um, a real clean taste. Yes, it really is. But it really adds to whatever recipe. And I also brought, you know, short ribs because I, I'm mm -hmm. going to cook these later and then uh -huh. I'm going to save the bones. So okay. save your bones Absolutely. and put those in there. Yeah. I love this, Cammie. This is great. Now, how much do you, for health benefits do you it's say? It's for debate, but maybe a cup. A day? Every day if you really have problems. Okay. Now I'm at the point where I use it just every once in a while. I maybe love every this. Every couple weeks. Thank you for this yeah. input. This is yeah. wonderful. This is good how long can you store this? Five days in the fridge and up to like six months in the freezer. Okay. okay. Perfect. Thank you, Cammie. Yes, Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Awesome. All right.